Over here is a gorgeous mini pickup with later mini plastic arches on it and cosmic alloy wheels. This one's very clean, those are not standard mini seats. I would assume as a maybe small another small car, maybe some sort of Subaru, maybe even a small Fiat, not sure. Little well, mini here. So much blue, much approved. This mini is very clean. And the wheels on it. Awesome little thing. This me is exceptionally clean on the inside. You've done a good job on it. <laughs> I really like it. Engine bay under here, lots of shiny things, shiny bits. Go see me in there. Thatcher radiator, worthwhile upgrade. Actually, I really like the fact they painted this body colour as well. I should maybe consider doing the same thing with mine and really brighten it up a bit on mine. Lovely metallic blue mini. Same style of door mirror as mine. No rear seats in this one. Got an ERA type body kit on it though, which is interesting. Awesome little machine. Matte orange R56. It's obviously a wrap. Seems like it was silver before. It's very neat and tidy under here. 1552 alloys even on this one. Those don't come up all that often. Especially not on a mini. And the rocker cover on that one. This body kit on this. Seamlessly blended into the car. It's mega. There's another very clean Cooper. Look at the engine bay. Very shiny. Plenty of racing based minis here today, it has to be said. Obviously, I know we're at a racetrack and there is a mini going past. Something gorgeous. Oh, a flip front mini. Twin cam 16 valve. I imagine probably from a Honda or Vauxhall. Usually are. It's cool. Love the way they mounted the horn in there. 1275 GC Clubman. Ooh, red piping on the seats. Looks lovely. I like the steering wheel. Now this is definitely a Vauxhall engine. Notice how the front end on this one is actually extended to make sure you've got enough room. Basically this would probably be a fiberglass kit made up. It's flip front as well, hence the cutting of the wheel arch there. Pretty cool. This Mini's got Lamborghini style doors. Have a quick look here. Interesting way that they work. Carbon fibre door cards. Won plenty of trophies. Quite right so. Very clean looking car. Stage 3 engine on this. So 310 horsepower. Almost 400 newton metres of torque. Crikey. But that shift. Speedwell Mini. Lovely little thing. I do like those mirrors that hold on, but I'm not such a big fan of drilling into the doors to make them work, personally. Although, I really like these seats in here. Those again will not be standard mini seats in here, I'm quite sure. And in fact, they've got custom mounts down there. I do like them. Also, Jägermeister bottle just there. A flip front end minivan. A series underneath. Plenty more access. Gorgeous pickup with wooden trim. Mini Cooper Sports Pack. It's me. Looking very rough and ready. Love it. Oh, 
or me just here. I do like the uh, roof checkers and stripes. Same seats that I've got in my Mini actually. Mini Cooper. Clubman. Very orange. Very much approve. Mini Cooper S. Another coupe. Cooper S. Clubman 5 door. Mini Cooper S. Some more at the back. This is West Country Minis, the people that organise the Isle of Wight Mini Adventure. We'll be seeing a few more of these later on in the year at least. Mini Neon convertible version. Ooh. This interesting little boxy vehicle. This certainly attracts attention. Very bold colour scheme on it. It's got a tow bar and everything. Amazing. Very clean Mini next to it. Mini Cooper. Windows open, can't blame. Quite warm now. This Mini's having some work carried out on it. Fan of Hubnut. This Mini here belongs to Jeff Ruggles, who works for Classics World and Kelsey Media in general. Lovely minivan, British Open Classic, Mini City, this one won Ink Top Prize at the Isle of Wight Adventure last year. They won a trip off out in a, I think it was either gyrocopter or paraglider, something like that. Mini Cooper S Mark II, Mini Cooper 1.3, Mayfair, Japanese import by the looks of it. Clubman Cooper. This is like it might be in a sidewalk edition with those seats. Yes, I think so. Love the door number. Have a quick look at these ones. Riley Elf in purple. Again, probably see this at the Isle of Wight Adventure. It's been there every year I've been. Which I will say is not many, but it's been two years at least, so <laughs> I imagine it'll be there. B30. Retail 75 and a Mini 1000 with tow bar. Made to look older than actually it's H-Reg, same as mine. I do like it though. Mini Scamps. Mini Scamp is an interesting vehicle. Back over here then. Mini Cooper in silver on part of the Y register. Somewhere over there. We'll get to that in a minute. Muttley Racing Division Mini in orange. Castle Coombe sticker, very appropriate because we're here today. Chop sticker, fan of MCM, Mighty Car Mods. Mini Clubman this is. We saw this one at Bewley a couple of weeks ago. Pointed out, and the lovely person who owns it actually commented on my video on that. So, hello again. Looks a little bit faded, but again, that doesn't matter to me. I'd rather see it here than uh, and sat away at home in a garage not seeing shows like this so good for you bringing it out mini checkmate again one of rover's special editions and an interesting mini clubman basically mini clubman front of these it's called the mini phoenix so mini phoenix was supposed to be rust proof basically with the body being made out of fiberglass it's essentially an estate with a slightly raised top so better rear room headroom that is everything else it's a cool little vehicle i like it a lot moving on over here to wmc we had a brief look earlier on but here they are in more detail this lovely little mini cooper john cooper works convertible i like the car schemes they've got going on this one same with this actually lime green works really quite well with a darker color Mini Clubman, Cooper S, Cooper S over here, or Woody this one, plenty of Cooper S's here. Controversially, I quite like the styling of these newer ones, I don't think there's a Mini I don't like really, it has to be said. I do like the way this 
paint changes depending on what light you're in. Over there, darker. Over here, brighter. Mm. That's not just because of the sun. I mean, as you can see, it's not too sunny here at the minute. It's more cloudy, but it's great. And the little details on the roof as well with the cards. John Cooper Works Clubman, all four. Fairly new one. GP. GP and a GP. All the GPs lined up together. Just down there are the trade stands. Not going to take too much of a walk down there really because we're focusing more on the minis. But here's a few minis. Jaffa Racing. Looks very cool, this little stand. Onto this display, we got Mini Cooper. This is the Mini Cooper register. Gorgeous little thing. Racing Mini Cooper S. Austin one. Austin Cooper S. Austin Cooper S. Twinnies, these two. So, of course, engine at the front, engine at the back as well. Just hidden underneath all that. Of course, a lot of engineering went into this because, unlike today, we can have computers work a lot of things out for us. The people that made these didn't, so it was all finely tuned, handcrafted goodness, basically. Notice, though, how all these little grills, vents, whatever you want to call them in the back, all hand welded individually, every little tiny bit. A lot of skill went into making that. Mini pickup, blue roof, lovely little tonneau cover on the back, sports pack. That's a lovely little mini. This one's got a rally light on top, like a little rally spotlight. So the idea is when you're on a rally, the co-driver could point that in the direction that you're traveling and provide a bit extra light, which is awesome. Mini Cooper. Gorgeous little Morris Cooper. A lovely little display here. And over on this side, obviously not minis in any way, shape or form, but we've got some classic buses as well. We've got a London Transport bus and a load of Bristol buses. So obviously those two slightly earlier. That one, a later model. These are cool little buses. I like them. Another mini with a bit of a pinky purple theme going on. Very nice. This is a gorgeous shade of blue on these minis. Very nice. Mini Cooper. Midlands Mini Club. Representing. Find them on Facebook. This one travelled all the way to Belgium in 2016 for the International Mini Meet that year. The IMMs are held every year. But every five years they come back to the UK, so... 2019 was the last UK one. There hasn't been one. Well, in fact, it was the last IMM because there hasn't been one since because of uh, certain coffee viruses. So last year was meant to be Germany. This year was meant to be Italy. Germany is now pushed back to next year and Italy the year after that. I do like these YPAC lights on the front, though. Might have to get some for mine. Cooper Sports Pack there. Morris Cooper S. Morris Cooper. Over here, as always at mini shows, you've got the Y register, the earliest of the BMW minis, which is important to the mini story because, of course, it's continued it. As I've mentioned earlier in this video, people who own the classic mini were likely to be the ones that went on to buy the newer minis, whether that be for themselves, their wives, husbands, children, nephews, nieces, whatever. Interestingly, the Y register minis here today are all red with a white roof. And they're all OBL, which was the original sort of press cars or pre production models or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head right at this second. Anyway, this car's got a little Mario in it in the windscreen. Do you like the wheels on this Cooper S? I like the grill on that one as well. I mentioned the Mini Moat before, how it was a essentially failed military vehicle. This is the prototype Austin Moog. Notice how it looks quite different from the uh, 
final version of it, but that's because, of course, they were trying to sell it to the military, so it didn't need to look as luxurious, shall we say, as the final production that was produced for civilians. Notice how the fuel tank's in the back, not in the size as it is on the later Moogs. About the 1959 register. Not to me from 1959. Of course, Austin, 7s, Morris, Mini Miners, respectively. Quite like that one at the back with the white wheels and blue body. That's quite cool. Clubman over there. Clubman here. These typical rally type things, having the spare wheels on the roof. Easy access, ready to go when needs be. It's what you needed on a rally. Don't need to be faffing around with getting stuff in and out of the boot. More Clubman action. Got a couple of racing based minis here. All massively tuned, massively powerful things. Hello. <laughs> Little coupe. Tuned up quite massively, I bet that handles well. This is Bill Richards Racing. He's been going around today doing passenger rides in his racing mini for charity. I believe it's for the RNLI, is the charity of choice. Over here, wide variety of minis, 6X Mini Owners Club. Quite a variety in the club. It's nice to see that clubs are willing to have both obviously the newer minis and the older minis in them. Oh, and even a lovely Riley Elf. I do like a Riley Elf. Sidewalk edition with those lovely seats. Sports pack, another sports pack. Over here then. Plenty of the newer minis. Older mini Cooper S. At least that's what it says, it's a 90s Mini, so it might be tuned up to Cooper S spec. Racing little Mini. I mean, he's got some power behind it, clearly. Quite a standard looking Mini Mayfair, but very nice nonetheless. I don't actually know what that would be for, maybe for holding like an aerial or something, for a CB radio? Ooh, racing Mini, kind of thing. Notice the lights on this, four of them. Plenty of visibility in the dark, has to be said. <laughs> like the seats inside here, and the dashboard. This Mini is exceptionally well done and very clean. A couple more Minis around there, but we're going to see these ones first. Yeah. Supercharged Mini in a sort of matte blue vinyl wrap. Very cool. These are the minis in front of us on the parade lap. This has got an interesting sort of aqua graphic along the side of these. Northwest Mini Club, these people. Very nice selection as well. Well, actually, before we go on, have a look at these. Custom made dashboard. A Mini with a flip front, but a bike that comes up as well with a Nissan power unit underneath. Nissan power is quite unusual to find in a Mini, usually it's Honda or Vauxhall as I've already said. And it's got standard Mini indicator lenses, not the usual Clubman type. f edge, so that would have been a normal Mini just with a Clubman front end to obviously accommodate the Nissan front. So many here, it's got a matte black paint job. And look at the little fins on the wipers. I'm not quite sure what those would do. Mini Cooper with Union Jack. A Mini Clubman Estate Shorty. Interesting choice to make into a shorty, but certainly very eye catching. I suppose it means if you only got two people in it, plus low luggage, you're all sorted. Another Mini with an interesting engine choice, this time looks to be the Rover K-Series. Of course, Rover themselves did look at putting the K-Series into a Mini, but uh, they couldn't financially justify the costs. So this is 
essentially a minky, even though not official. This one, similar look to my Mini. Got the sidewalk seats inside. Little tartan look. Looks very nice. As I said earlier, I do like the tartan sidewalk seats. Mini convertible, later one. Certainly a lot more kitted out than the classic minis, aren't they? John Cooper works. Hooper S. Hmm. Is that a play on words? Or is there something that's different and massively, massively unique about it? Not obviously, so maybe it's a bit of a sleeper, this one. This means it's got a flip front. You can tell again by the cut in the arch. It's quite difficult to see, actually. I was trying to think, oh, actually, was it? But no, there is one in there, so it's a flip front. Mini with a body kit on it. Convertible. And another Mini City. There's quite a few Mini Cities here today, actually. Mini Convertible. Racing Green Mini with Union Jack roof. Mini Cooper. Sports pack. Very nice. Love the way the radiator's mounted down the front on these. And the alternator is up there. Very easy access. Love the blue on this one as well. Austin Cooper. Says this. And this one, carbon fibre aqua graphic, I would imagine. Little rocker cover and the fuse box, as different from standard. Very cool. This is the Mini Mad UK group. Mini Clubman with flip front end because it's got a Honda VTEC under here and a Wasp apparently on the front. I don't know what's so attractive to you there, mate. Maybe it's because it looks like a honeycomb. Maybe thinks there's honey in there. I don't know. Either way. Look at all these. The thing is with the Mini, it's got an endless customization scene. Regardless of whether you've got a new Mini or an old Mini. Whatever. They're certainly not short of customizable parts to make your Mini very much your own. In the same way that I've made Millie my own through the last two and a half years of ownership. A few presses. I do like the blue on the silver actually, it looks quite good. Now clubbing over there, we've seen before, it's, I think it was the Mini and Metro show, Dennis and Nasher on it, from the Beano comic here in the UK. Mini Cooper S. And another coupe. Gosh, there's plenty of them here today. I don't think I've seen so many Mini Coupes at a show, also known as the R58 Mini. We're now at the Thames Valley Mini Club. We've seen them before at the Bewley Mini Cooper Register Rally and the Mini and Metro Day at the British Motor Museum. There's a map of where they meet and places like that. Usually around Knoll Hill, apparently. This lovely estate. Wouldn't usually be a traveller, I'd have thought. Common estate. Mini Sprite, the city, earlier city than mine. And then some very brightly coloured minis. Sands Valley Mini Club, all lovely people, got chatting to them at the Mini and Metro show. So if you're ever at a show, go and say hi to them. This is the minis of Tiverton stand. The fuel tank in the civilian moak is down there, instead of in the boots, you get a bit more space. They still very much kept the same spirit as the military one. Also just over there, Mini Countryman, all four, John Cooper works with a tow bar. Excellent. Another Mini Countryman with a roof box. Brand new Mini stuff on it, so you know which car it's connected to. Another Countryman. k -Ridge Mini. That'd probably be a Sprite. Looks like it due to the rear seats. The sidewalk. A racing mini. Plenty of them over here. Plenty of good cars. Contrasting green. Works nicely on that, I think. 
Is that a stand then? Sorry, come off. <laughs> Not sure. Somerset Rust. Being represented by this Mini. These are representatives of the Solent Mini Club. Obviously based down around the Southampton Portsmouth area. Lovely collection of Minis just over here. Sporty seats inside the sports pack. Very comfortable, I would imagine. The 11 Reg Mini, Mini Clubman. Plenty of stuff going on in there, but as I say, with all these very accessible engine bays, a lot better than the round nose Mini at least. Mini Clubman, later one, the biggest Mini that existed at that point until the new Countryman came along, of course. Now, this Mini here with the contrasting orange along the front. JCW, JCW, Mini Cooper, and another JCW. Mini Cooper over there, Racing Clubman. Mini Cooper S. This Mini's heading out. Cooper S. That looks like a racing Mini as well. Clubman with the strange rear doors open for anyone interested. Same headlights that I've got. This is cool. I like this little cover they got on the back of this pickup. Usually pickups didn't have any covers other than the flat edge tonneau. But this one, it's got this, which makes it more van-like, I suppose. But it gives you the option. Very cool. My Cooper press makes a lot of noise. A mini non-sports pack with sports pack arches. Oh, a golden engine. Interesting choice. Stands out on this. Certainly caught my eye. We've got the bonnet inside the car. Not necessarily a traditional place to put it, I'll say, but either way, it's there. And a spoiler. A spoiler is not something you usually see on the back of a classic mini. Over there, a racing mini done up in a sort of police type livery. Emergency response vehicle, it says. Imagine if the police had one of these. Everyone would be stuffed. Even if not in a straight line, they're still quick through the corners and things like that. Silver seats in this. Lovely Cooper. There's the racing clubman, Cooper S. These people had a picnic out earlier on with their little mini base trailer. Very nice. Little Cabriolet convertible. And custom console, just like mine. Now to the last area, the A's of Hearts, as in Heartshire, H-E-R-T-S. Got a couple of cars representing here, four of them in fact. This one's even got people's names on who would be racing it. Dylan and Grandad, very nice. Just over here at the back. One Mini hiding away. Onto the Mini Marcos Owners Club. Of course, the Marcos being yet another mini based kit car. Oh, they're cool. They're basically little sprinty minis, racing mini type things, basically. Very cool little cars, though. I like the way how the headlights have been done like that for aerodynamic reasons because you've got the cover there and obviously the light behind it. Standard mini lights and mini lights. And over there, the final two cars of the show basically, before we get back to Millie who's now swapped places with the uh, Traveller. Little mini there and a little mini just over there. It's all rather sweet and we're back at where we started as i said already it's warmed up quite a bit here so i've taken my jumper off which is a bit different from the start but we're now back at millie and that therefore brings a close to mini action day for me at least here at castle coombe so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you go let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite mini here and of course if you want to see more car based content don't forget to subscribe there's plenty more of it coming up on the channel in the future so, 
Thank you very much for watching once again, and I shall see you in the very next video. So until then, for now, I shall say farewell.